Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna talk about the three things that I include in every email. I'm gonna give you a framework. I'm gonna show you an example of a recent email or post that I wrote that did very well in sales. And then also how you can use this framework to write new emails and new posts and content for social media every single day. So before we dive into this, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content, helps me out, also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this as well. And so with that said, let's jump into my computer right now. On the screen, you are seeing a framework and these are the three things that I make sure that every email and social post that I make has these three elements or these three things here. So um, this is the hand raiser framework and I call hand raiser is basically a post or an email that you send out that gets people to raise their hand and say, yes, I want what you have to offer. I want what you're talking about in this post. So. Um, this is kind of the framework that I use for my daily emails, my daily social posts that are designed to generate sales and designed to generate people who are interested in my different offerings. So the way that this framework works, the three things, um, I break it down to this framework called VBO, and that stands for value, bridge, and one thing. Now the order of V and O can switch. Sometimes the bridge can come first and then sometimes the value can come first. The order of that doesn't really matter. The main thing is that you include all of these three elements in every email or social post that you send that you want to generate sales for you. So the first thing or the first element is V, right? And this is value. And most people, when they think about value, they just think about how to posts, but it doesn't need to be how to. It can be an insight or wisdom or a lesson that you share that gets the person reading it to think or behave slightly differently, right? Doesn't need to be super long either. Like it's not about long content because that doesn't equal more value. We want to create these aha moments for our reader. So we want them to read through the value post or the, the value part of the post and say, ah, oh, I get that, or that makes sense to me, or I never thought of it that way. So value is, remember, an insight, wisdom, or lesson that you share that gets the reader to think or behave differently. Second thing is the bridge. And the bridge is a story, analogy, analysis, example, or metaphor that makes the aha moment easy to understand. And don't worry if you're not getting this right now, I'm gonna show you an example. I'm gonna break down what pieces are the V and the B, and then also the O, which is one thing. Now the one thing is the call to action, right? One action that you wanna take or that you want the reader to take after reading your post or email. So some examples, read a sales page, click to an order form, consume a piece of content, right? My rule is that this one thing should always lead the reader down the path to buying. So. It should lead them down the path to buying with you. If it's leading to a piece of content, there should be a button on that page for someone to check out or buy an offer that you have. And also this one thing or the, the call to action should be positioned to talk about what the person wants, the reader wants, not about your product, right? So some examples are like, click here to buy my product or click here to buy this product or, or this program. We don't wanna say that, we wanna position the one thing around something that the person or the reader wants. So let's take a look at an example here. This is one that I sent out recently on January 5th. And this one brought in three new clients on my email side hustle program, which is right around $7,500 in revenue. So this is the, the subject line. I sent this out both in, this is my Facebook group here and also to my email list. So the subject line or the, the headline of the post was make 100K plus from creators on TikTok without building your own audience. So this is kind of like the value here, right? I'm getting into uh, insight or wisdom. I'm getting interested and I'm, I expand upon this in the post here. So we start off with this. I'm just gonna read through it and, and tell you the, di the different pieces of this VBO framework and where it comes in here. So last week I read a report by Cloudflare that showed TikTok topped Google as the most popular domain in 2021. Mind blowing and also a bit sad because it shows where society is at with attention spans but I'm not here to make you sad. I'm here to give you money-making ideas, tactics, and strategies that you're probably not seeing. And there's a golden opportunity right now to make money helping this new wave of creators out. Over the last two months, I've seen four people go from zero to 500K plus followers on TikTok in various different niches. They've got the traffic, attention, and offers to sell, but they're all missing one key thing, an email list, which means they're leaving potentially millions of dollars on the table. You can make money by helping these creators turn their audience into income and take a piece of the pie. So you can see here, this is kind of like the value, right? I'm getting them, I'm giving them a piece of insight or wisdom that is getting them to think differently. Like, oh, I didn't know I could make money from TikTok creators without, without having to build my own audience. So this is the value piece here. 
Now we're getting into the bridge. And the bridge, in this case, is an analysis and an example, right? So I'm breaking down a live example from a TikTok creator that I saw. So it says, let's use a guy in the real estate space as an example. He has 1.1 million followers in a 347 uh, course. Let's say we just got 10% of those people onto an email list. That's 110K subs. And let's say we convert just 1% of those into customers. That's 1,100 customers. If his course is $347, that means $381,700 in revenue. If you were to charge a 30% commission, that means your cut is uh, $114,510. And because you're only getting paid on performance, there's no risk to him. You're managing his email list, so it takes no time, money, or energy on his part. He gets a hands-off and risk-free six-figure income stream. You get four to five-figure per month checks. It's a win-win for both parties. So this part right here, this is the bridge, right? So at the first part, I said there's an opportunity to make money helping TikTok creators by monetizing their email list. The bridge is a live example and an analysis that makes that aha moment moment easy to understand, right? Oh, I get it. This makes sense. I can see how I can make money from helping creators with their email list. So the last part here, it says, as you can see, it doesn't take many of these clients to make bank. Hell, you could stick with one to two for an entire year and make a cushy living. There are thousands of creators out there like this who are amazing at building audiences, but terrible at monetization. I've been working with three since mid 2021 who don't have a million followers, but enough where my cut can be hundred K plus per year for each client. And by the way, you can apply the same strategy to creators on YouTube and Instagram too, wherever folks have an audience, but no email list or a shitty one. So if the numbers here excite you and you'd like to get paid to be an email rainmaker, helping creators make bank from an audience they've already built, I'll be talking about it more with the peeps in my next email side hustle class. We get started soon. So if you'd like the deets, send me a DM here with the word TikTok money and I'll send it over. Your compadre is my sign off here. So this is the one thing, right? If you want to get paid to be an email rainmaker, helping creators make bank from the audience they've already built, then send me a message here, right? So I didn't say, if you wanna join my course, or if you wanna join my program, then click this link. I positioned it around something that they want, right? They want to make money, and they wanna get paid to send emails and write for creators, right? They wanna make bank from not having, building their own audiences, but helping other people monetize their audiences, right? So. Um, very important. That's the one thing, but it's positioned as around something that they want, right? They want to make money. I'm not telling them here, click here to buy my course. So this is an example of the VBO framework and every email and social post that I send out uh, Monday through Saturday, typically that I want to generate sales or lead people to a sale with me is going to follow this framework here. Okay. So VBO value bridge, one thing, watch this video again. And another way that you can see this in action is if you join my email list, if you go to seananthony.co, you can join there. Or if you wanna join my Facebook group and see uh, these posts live in the group, which I send out every day, just go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to this group. It's a free group to join. And you can see all of my posts in action that are using this framework here. So those are the three things that I include in every sales generating email or every email or post that I want to make money and get sales and customers and clients for me. Um, use this framework, apply it to your emails and your social, social posts so you can start making more sales. And yeah, I hope this is helpful for you. This is a framework that I use every single day and will help you write money-making emails and social posts every day as well, whether it's for yourself, for your own offers or for clients. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments, hit the like button and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.